I have been learning that I can appreciate things. I can like them, but that doesn't mean that I have to have them. I can look at somebody and I can appreciate their style. I can appreciate um, maybe something that they have and think that, that it's beautiful and think that it's great and be happy for them. But that doesn't mean that I have to have that tangible possession. Hey everyone, welcome back. My name's Jamie, if you guys are new. If you are new and you would like to get to know myself and the community around here, I'd love it if you would stick around and subscribe down below. Today I wanted to sit down and I wanna share with you guys kind of where I've been at as far as um, this journey towards living more of a minimalistic and simple life been a bit since I have sat down and devoted some time to this topic. I am 22 weeks pregnant with my fourth child, a little girl right now, and I was super, super sick my first trimester. And so that being said, I didn't do any filming. I didn't do uh, really anything out of the house. It gave me a lot of time to think, <laughs> to do some self-reflective thought and um, just to look at myself and my habits and my life and kind of where I'm at right now. And so through that, uh, I realized that um, after we had, we had a miscarriage in January and after I lost that pregnancy, I think I kind of just like hit this emotional roadblock where I had been really conscious of the things I'd brought into my house, my spending, kind of the way that I interact with my possessions, the way that I view them. I can tend to be a person that can emotionally spend. If I'm feeling really, really good, then I will go get myself a coffee, I'll go buy myself a coffee, right? I'll, I'll purchase something that's tangible. If I'm feeling crappy, I might go do the same thing. And so that's kind of been my coping skills for a long time. And I didn't really realize that until I started embarking on this journey towards being more conscious of how I interact with my possessions and um, living more simply and more minimalistically. And so yeah, I spent a lot of time thinking about that and reflecting. And after I had that miscarriage in January, I noticed that I started spending a lot. Um, we just, I feel like sometimes we want the tangible when, when, when we go through something that's intangible. Does that make sense? Sometimes when we have a loss, it's easy to identify with a thing because um, it's there, you know, like my pregnancy was gone, but I had things. And I didn't realize how emotional that was for me, that grieving process, what that actually did to me until I looked back and I saw all the stuff that I had in my closet. <laughs> until I saw the things that I purchased and I was like, oh my gosh, where did all this stuff come from, you know? And then I, I started realizing like, I did some spending and it was emotional. And so that happens to all of us, right? We all make choices sometimes, we all act out of emotion, but I think it's important to be able to step back and reflect on that and not get stuck in shame and in um, feeling guilty, but to learn from it and move forward. And so basically, that's what I'm doing. I have been very conscious of just my spending habits, uh, my emotions, just sitting back and reflecting. I'm a Christian, so I've been spending a lot of time in prayer and just asking God to search my heart, <laughs> show me the things that are not of Him, show me the things that I'm trying to heal in myself that He can only heal. And I think that wanting beautiful things and appreciating beautiful things is normal because we're human beings who, um, who can appreciate and love beauty and that's good but getting caught up in that and having to have the things that are beautiful I think is um, is where sometimes we can find ourselves at a little bit of a roadblock so that's been another thing I've been trying to do um, I have been learning that I can appreciate things I can like them but that doesn't mean that I have to have them I can look at somebody and I can appreciate their style I can appreciate um, maybe something that they have and think that that it's beautiful and think that it's great and be happy for them but that doesn't mean that I have to have that tangible possession because thumbs up if you guys can agree so many times I've made purchases um, because of somebody else maybe it's on YouTube maybe it's um, a friend of mine but somebody else had something and that might really be their style that might really reflect them and I like it so much that I think oh 
should have that because it's so beautiful and that, that would really, I would that would make me happy. That would be something fun to have. And it might be something fun to have, but it also might not really reflect me. It might just be because I like it on them, so maybe I'll like it on me. And it doesn't always end up that way. And so just learning that about myself has been a huge process. And so over the last few months, sorry you guys, I'm so out of breath. I'm pregnant right now and I just filmed a few videos and so now I'm kind of like, oh, I feel like I've ran a marathon. And so over the last couple months, I've been doing a lot of decluttering, a lot of purging. And as I've been doing that, I've been reflecting on myself. And so that has been kind of my process. That's where I've been at, a lot of self-reflection. Um, sometimes it's painful to declutter because you can see areas of yourself that need growth, that need work, but um, I'm trying to just be reflective and I'm trying to grow and I'm trying to go to God with the things that I need and the things that um, I feel like are going to heal me versus the things of this world because I'm not taking this stuff to the grave with me. I wanna have plants that make me look at beauty in nature and appreciate it. I wanna have clean air in my home. <laughs> I wanna have a couple beautiful things that I can appreciate, but I want my focal point to be my family and to be um, living this life and to be really just enjoying each moment as it happens. And so that's kind of where I'm at right now in my minimalism journey. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and it was kind of a nice sit down chit chat style video for you. If you guys are not subscribed and you'd like to subscribe, I'd love to have you. So subscribe down below, comment down below and share with me where you guys are at with your journey. What does it look like for you? Have you started decluttering? Um, can you relate at all to me and emotional spending? I hope you guys are all blessed and I will see you next time.